Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy the Level Up Blacksmith and today I'm doing something a little bit different. This video is inspired by the Backyard Boyer. Recently I saw one of these videos where he built a really cool looking tomahawk out of a saw blade. And I thought, I have a whole bunch of saw blades laying around. I bet you I could do something similar. So, let's get to it. And here we have our soon to be repurposed saw blade. Seven and one quarter inches. We're going to be using two conduit straps. These are inch and a quarter conduit straps. And we're using two bolts. These are quarter inch bolts, three quarters of an inch long, and they have the corresponding lock washer and the corresponding nut. We're going to have to modify the straps though. This is a scrap piece of dowel I have, and I beat these conduit straps around it so the holes are pretty close together. And to tie it all together, I'll be using one and a quarter inch dowel cut to 19 inches. This will be our axe handle. All right, let's get to it. Before we start cutting this saw blade, we're going to have to make some marks and mark out what's going to be our axe blade. I'm going to create a little shoulder, come in handy later on and this is going to be our bearded section and let's cut off the top portion here all right this is going to be our axe blade this will be chopped off and all this portion over there will be chopped off leaving just this right here. To the grinder. So here I have the saw blade sandwiched between two pieces of rawhide in my vise. The rawhide is because I'm probably going to use the other side of this blade as an axe later on and I don't want to mar it up. So um, let's get grinding. But before we go there, um, Truth be told, I just got this grinder yesterday, and I'm really super inexperienced at grinding. So it's gonna look ugly, I apologize for that. And if yesterday was any experience, I'm gonna be sending a whole slew of sparks towards my phone, which I'm recording on. So that should be fun, hopefully I don't burn anything. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get some PPE on and get to business. All right, now for this bit. Bingo. So I'm just gonna use the grinding plate and clean up the top and what's gonna be the back edges of the axe head. The easiest way I've found to bend these conduit straps is by putting everything in a, in a vise. Again, I'm using that old dowel. It's just really the cutoff of what's going to be the axe handle. Got cut there. So we're just going to put everything back in the vise using the rawhide 
protect conduit. There we go. And now screw it all together. Without pinching my fingers. Really could do with a third hand here. There we go. Pinch it together. And then using a pliers to bring them up close together. I've been using a screwdriver to keep the holes aligned. Anything would do. Any piece of rod. It ain't pretty, but it should work. Using one that I've already bent, I'm going to put them both on this dowel nice and tight together and from there I'm going to get my measurements for the holes that I'm going to drill here shortly axe head up I actually don't want any metal in contact with the wood so I'm going to drill the holes Actually. I'm going to spread this conduit apart a bit. There we go. Nice. And there. Put holes in the metal right there. It's time to get drilling. This is a quarter inch carbide tip drilling bit and hopefully I can drill straight holes. drifted on me slightly and two nice now time for assembly condo straps onto the handle Line it up with the holes we just drilled. Try not to embarrass myself. I just pinch it all together. I'm using the 7 16 wrench, which also happens to be 11 millimeters to tighten all this up. And I shouldn't struggle with this part. Maybe I will struggle with this part. Turn this the other way. There we go. If you don't have a ratchet set, an adjustable wrench or two will really do wonders here.
And there you have it. It's just that easy to make one post-apocalyptic tomahawk. Yeah, post-apocalyptic tomahawk. Out of simply attained parts from Home Depot or any hardware store and a repurposed saw blade. Now I use a repurposed saw blade, but you could go and buy yourself a new one if you want. Now the only thing left to do is to sharpen it up, which quite frankly, I'm not very good at. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch me progress as a blacksmith and a maker of things. Like this video if you found it educational, entertaining, amusing even. And leave a comment below. Tell me, what have you repurposed lately? And until next time, I'm Jeremy. <laughs>